When I first went to Compton Creek, I thought this place had a lot of potential to attract a lot of people. But once we got down there, I just I was really disappointed. I thought, how can we as a community let this happen? Once we went to actually see the water, it was um, pretty murky. I also remember seeing an oil machine on top of it. Along with that, all the small little wrappers of trash, candy, anything. I remember seeing um, a shopping cart and really that just disappointed me. Well, for the last few months, I've been staying after school on Wednesdays to learn about my watershed, which is Compton Creek and I live right here. On Wednesdays after school, we have been working on urban hydrology. This project is about um, being able to clean the water of Compton Creek since it's been very polluted due to the lack of care from the watershed of Compton Creek. Urban areas are more prone to pollute waters because of our impervious surfaces. Impervious surfaces are more like concrete so and when it rains in a city the water is usually carried into storm drains which lead into um, rivers which eventually lead into the ocean. Industrial facilities in Pet Company Creek because when it rains most of the pollutants are washed down into the creek. Industrial facilities need a permit to operate. Well, some facilities may not have permits because they might not be informed that they have to have a permit and they don't really take measures because of their lack of responsibility. When I went to see facilities, I saw a lot of metals and oil stains on the ground. Compton Creek is polluted because when it rains, the water carries all those scrap metals from industrial facilities. And that water goes into storm drains and then leads to Compton Creek. Wow. This is just too much just this one street in my watershed one street imagine all the other streets that are possibly like this nobody ever feels happy to live in a place that's really dirty and at one point you feel used to it but it's not something nice to look at I feel like it just affects you in a way like like it sucks it just sucks to live in a place like that facility owners that they do need a permit that everything that they produce one way or another leads to or is exposed to rainwater so if they don't have any type of cover or any type of care with what they're producing it can lead into Compton Creek and affect anything. You know, I want to pick all this trash up. I mean I can <laughs> but it's too much for me to carry my backpack. We shouldn't throw trash on the streets because like there's some storm drains that don't have a net so like the water just goes through the drain pipes which eventually leads to the Compton Creek. If Compton Creek wasn't as polluted, I believe many more people would be glad to try and go or take their kids out on a weekend, right? Use it as something that is useful for our community and in a healthy way. It's 
because you don't really enjoy looking at a computer that's dirty, so if it's all clean, it really does change your perspective about everything.